Hello everyone. This video is about Natural One and DevOps. In this section, we'll focus on repository-based team development. This is an illustration of the Natural One DevOps process and toolchain. Source code changes are done in repository-based team development using a source code management system like Subversion or Git. Let's take a more detailed look at this part of the process, especially as it relates to a repository and the way Natural One is integrated. The Natural One development environment is used to implement natural applications. Natural One connects to a natural development server to build and run an application. A source code management system, like Git or Subversion, is used as a repository server. This repository is now the single source of truth and no longer the F user. A copy modify merge approach is introduced. Developers create a local copy of the source code, which they modify in isolation. Using a decentralized source control system like Git allows each developer to work on a local copy of the repository. The developer pulls the changes out of the central repository and implements them in their local Natural One environment. Modifications are uploaded and executed in private mode. Natural One executes changes independently of other users, so their work is not affected by any other user's changes. Once the work has been completed, the changes are made available by committing or pushing them to a central repository. Any arising conflicts are resolved through the repository's merge capabilities. Let's take a look at how this works in Natural One. This is the Natural One development environment. On the left-hand side is the navigator. It contains my workspace and all my current projects. At the moment, we can see a Lib1 project that's connected to a Git repository. We'll expand the project, look into the library, and navigate to the programs. In the list, we can see the Hello World program. We'll execute it over the context menu by choosing Run As Natural Application. In the central view is the Hello World Natural Application. Let's open the program's source code by clicking on it. Now the central view displays the natural editor and the source code. Let's modify this text, like DevOps. After saving, we can see that the file now displays symbols. The caret to the left means that this module is not in sync with the repository. The symbols to the right mean that this module is not in sync with the remote development environment and that it needs to be cataloged. To do so, we'll upload the module. To make our changes effective, we'll execute it again. And there is the new message. Now we need to synchronize the workspace with the repository. We'll navigate to Synchronize Workspace over Team in the context menu. This opens the Synchronize perspective, which displays our changes, including the Hello World program. Double-clicking will compare the source with the repository, and we can see the message we modified. If we're happy with the change, we can commit it to the repository. We need to specify a commit message, like DevOps change, in the commit dialog. Because we're working with Git, we need to commit and push the changes to the central repository. Now we'll see that the changes have been confirmed. Let's switch back to the Natural One perspective. The symbols now disappeared. Let's navigate to the history via Team Show in History and maximize the view. This shows us all the changes that we have made to the project and the repository. This ensures that the process is transparent for all project members, compare and rollback functionality. This is one of the benefits when working with a source code management system. We can also see what exactly was changed in the Hello World program. This video was about Natural One and DevOps with a closer look at repository-based team development.